Introduction on Sheep and Goat Production 1. Sheep and Goat Production Sheep and goats are some of the most widely reared livestock around the world. Sheep and goats are easily integrated into different farming systems The importance of sheep and goats in fulfilling the role once played by cattle for meat, milk and manure production is being increasingly recognized because of shrinkage of available grazing lands, increased climate variability, and increasing conflict with crop farmers. Sheep and goats have different but complementary feeding habits. Sheep and goats are relatively cheap and are often the first asset acquired, through purchase or customary means, by a young family or by a poor family recovering from a disaster such as drought or war. Sheep and goats will eat many different plants including plants with relatively low nutritional value, making them easier to feed through the year. 2. Reproduction in sheep and goats. Reproduction determines several aspects of sheep and goat production and an understanding of reproduction is crucial in reproductive management. A high rate of reproductive efficiency is important for herd expansion and replacement, production of meat, milk, skin and fiber, replacement of breeding stock. Female goats and sheep reach puberty as early as four months although they will not reach sexual maturity until 12 months of age. Issues such as weight, breed, genetics, and the season affect the female's age of maturity. In male full reproductive competence may not occur until 15 months of age. Gestation is the period from fertilization to delivery of the fetus. The average duration of gestation periods in use and does is constant. To some extent, the gestation period is influenced by age of the doe, younger ewes and does have shorter gestation than older ones. Litter size, does carrying twins have shorter gestation than those carrying singles. Nutrition of the pregnant ewe or doe, low level of feeding on range shortens gestation. Breeds, small and dwarf breeds have shorter gestation periods. Parturition is the birth of young goats and sheep, kids and lambs respectively. The gestation period is five months for goats and six months for sheep. During this time, female animals should have adequate nutrition including water so as not to cause harm to the fetus and to make sure the mother has the best health possible in preparation for delivery and lactation. Signs of parturition. Restlessness of the doe, you doe, you seeks a quiet place away from other flock udder is enlarged. Full and firm muscles either side of tail will become sunken and on either side of tail a hollow appears often stand or lie down and stretch her neck pointing her head skyward. Enlarged vulva, will have a clear discharge from the vulva. Care and management of nursing, lactating ewes and doe. Nursing ewes and does, especially those nursing twins or triplets, need special attention. Lactating animals and those recovering from giving birth need to be fed sufficient quantities of hay and concentrate, if available, to meet the high nutritional and energy requirements during early lactation. The quality of feed offered and particularly that of the roughage is important. There is also a need to provide plenty of clean, fresh drinking water. Lactating ewes and does require double the amount of water as non-lactating. Tail docking castration managing milking, dairy sheep and goats record keeping. Managing young goats and sheep. Tail docking. A birdito instrument is used to crush the tail between the vertebrate joints before two days of age. The tail is then cut off with a knife. Spraying the wound with antiseptic powder is recommended to prevent infection. Docking has the following purposes. Even distribution of fat on the carcass easier you mating, breeding prevention of fecal matter from accumulating on the tail and hindquarters of sheep and lambs reduced fly strike wool maggots. Castration. Castration is done to control mating by preventing inbreeding and inferior males from breeding, or for production of fat and carcass. Male goats that will not be bred should be castrated early in life, in the first two months, and kept for meat. The main effect of castration is on the composition of the carcass and weight development. In general, the following effects are noted. Carcasses from castrated sheep goats have more fat tissue castration could retard growth and reduce the quantity of lean meat if done late, after six months, in the case of goats, meat from castrated males has no, goaty smell, as does the meat from entire bucks. Managing milking dairy sheep and goats. The majority of smallholder farmers milk their animals goats, sheep, cattle, camel by hand. Good milking is done by the squeeze method. This technique mimics the nursing technique used by young animals and, if done correctly, can hygienically express the majority of the milk. Avoid the pulling technique as it hurts the udder and the teat and udder will get a mastitis infection. Following measures for healthy milking should be taken. 
wash hands and teats udder with clean water take hold and squeeze the base of teat with the thumb and forefinger to trap the milk in the teat close the other three fingers in a downwards motion with the topmost finger grasping around the teat followed by the second and then the third the milk in the teats is squeezed downwards and not pulled squeezing slowly downward makes the milk come out repeat this in a rhythm and quickly using the full hand to avoid finger and thumb striping this should take about 7 minutes so be quick so that you get as much milk as possible